So today my dad and I are here in Villefranche-sur-Mer and we are here for a very special reason. Dad, do you want to explain? Yes, my father jumped here in 1944 as a U.S. paratrooper. He ended up missing in action. Unfortunately, he jumped behind enemy lines. However, ended up fighting with the French resistance for a year before returning to his unit. But today, because it's the 80th anniversary of the liberation of this part of France, Bill Franch is holding a ceremony and my grandfather's being honored, so we're here to represent him, uh, which will be very cool. So it's going to start with a medal ceremony and then a parade and then a lovely little get together. I'm very much looking forward to it, but first we really need an uproll spritz because it is so hot here. It's like 100 degrees, so we're going to go get that and then head over to the ceremony. <laughs> So it turns out the letter we had from June is not accurate. We actually are supposed to be 10 minutes away to go meet the mayor of Villefranche. And we're probably gonna be late now, but it is what it is. The good news is we thought to ask the organizer when we didn't notice that there were chairs in the garden yet. And now we know why. So I guess the next stop is we're meeting the mayor. My father jumped with the 517th here. Uh, we're not sure where, as he was dropped behind enemy lines at the time. And he ended up missing in action for a year, but then he was fighting with the French resistance during that time before he came back to his unit uh, eventually. So this is my father. And, and we don't know a lot about the history other than that. Uh. Thank you very much. This is a little book. Yes. This is a little book of the story of uh, the Americans and Bill French sur Mer. Because after the end of the Second World War, I think you know that Bill French was the European basis of the Sixth Fleet of the U.S. Navy from 1954 to 1967, when uh, the General de Gaulle decided that France had to go out of the NATO. So this is our little story about Thank you. the USA and the French. Ah, thank you. Mm. Thank you. This is for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
mort. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. going great met a lot of nice people yeah you got to meet the mayor yeah you met, made a little met speech. with the mayor gave a little speech received a nice medal yeah. and uh, a thank you from uh, the city of uh, front ville france yes got to ride in some military vehicles we were in a parade and the day's not even over yet <laughs> Toulon, we mobilize half a million French, American, English, and Canadian soldiers. On August the 14th, during the night, Colonel Walker's first Special Service Force neutralized gun speedbox on the Yer Island. Meanwhile, the French Lieutenant Colonel Bouvet and his men land at Cap Ned. During the same night, Allied Airborne, under command of General Robert T. Frederick, whose grandson is with us today, Mr. Brad is just there, touched the ground by parachute. Nearly 500 warships sank to the soil of Provence along the 70 kilometer line between Hier and Cannes. On August 15, at 7.50 a.m., the first assault waned. Faced by surprise and disorganized Germans, the Allies quickly established a solid bridgehead. Digne and Sisteron were reached on August 19, Gap on August 20, Montélimar on August 28, and Lyon on September 3. French troops liberate Toulon on August 23 and Marseille falls on August 29, following heavy fighting. On the east side of the operation, the 1st Airborne Task Force troops liberate Grasse, 
scan an Antibon August 24, Nice on August 28, and Villefranche on August 29. Honored and proud to celebrate this anniversary alongside of Mr. Brad Hicks, grandson, grandson of the General Robert T. Fredericks, and of the representatives of the first Airborne Task Force. The first Airborne Task Force was created specially for this operation and composed by four major elite units. The, the 509 Parachute Infantry, the 517 Parachute Infantry, the 551 Parachute Infantry and the first Special Service Force. Indeed, Villefranche is specially linked with the USA, having been the European basis of the 6th Fleet of the US Navy during 13 years between 1954 and 1967. good and overall we had an amazing time we left off going to the ceremony the ceremony was amazing what did you get dad the ceremony and the events of the day were awesome the french were very very nice to mm -hmm. us uh, it was a great day yeah it was really lovely um the mayor came over again before he left to say goodbye to us which is really nice i got a little bon soiree which uh turned his head because i don't think he was expecting to know any french <laughs> And yeah, overall, it was just a great day. Uh, so now we're just heading back to catch the train and we're gonna be up bright and early again tomorrow to go to Monaco, so stay tuned. Like and subscribe for more, please.